Prime Minister Shahbaz Sharif plans to dissolve the National Assembly of Pakistan today, three days ahead of the stipulated constitutional term, to end his 16 months in office marked with political unrest and economic turmoil. Sharif assumed the political control of Pakistan in April last year after the former Prime Minister Imran Khan was ousted in a parliamentary no-confidence vote. With premature dissolution of parliament, the country will be required to hold the next general elections within 90 days to satisfy the relevant constitutional provisions. However, there is a strong possibility that the national polls could get delayed since the government has approved the data of the latest census held in May and the election commission will now have to redraw national and provincial constituencies accordingly. Meanwhile, Political turmoil continues in Pakistan after Imran Khan was given a three-year prison sentence by a local court in a case involving the illegal sale of state gifts. Subsequently, the Election Commission of Pakistan disqualified him from politics for a period of five years. With the crackdown continuing against Khan's Pakistan Tariq and Saaf party and the country's national economy still struggling despite securing the short-term IMF bailout, Pakistan seems to be moving from one crisis to another. It is still too early to predict how the situation is going to unfold in the coming days, but what is clear is the fact that Pakistan will still need a lot of time to achieve political and economic stability. Wajahat Ali, Arab News, Islamabad.